What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with another review for Stargate SG-1. <clears throat> so in this case, it's going to be my review for Season 3 of the show. And it's going to be a rather quick review as this um, season was a more overarching season for the Stargate universe as a whole. So in this season, we it's mostly related to, <clears throat> as far as the key episodes go, it's mostly related to the politics of the universe as a whole. So um, now that the Gould are slowly recognizing that the humans of Earth present a challenge to their um, power, they are looking to either nullify that power or continue enslaving the human race to their own ends. But there are treaties in place that have to be enforced between the Gould and the um, Asgard, which um, the Asgard mentioned they do, or as they've mentioned before, they have an enemy far worse than the Ghoul. So while the treaties are in place, it's also a bluff as they don't have the resources to enforce the rules. So as long as the Ghoul don't know that, that is um, okay with them. So in the episode, we start to see, get more of the Ghoul system lords um, along the lines of the... Kind of like the Jedi Council or maybe a Sith Council like the Brotherhood of Darkness where the top Gould system lords have their own council so they share technology, maintain their own power in their respective um, domains and recognize their own domains but that doesn't stop them from fighting within each other. So we get that and then we also conclude the season with the slow inkling that the Stargate Command can no longer... Um, also, function is a hidden organization in order to um, maintain their own. Not, not, not to say that they are ma maintaining their own agenda, but they're slowly coming to the realization that they're gonna. They're unable to contain the secrecy of the Stargate program. So we conclude with Thor coming to Earth to um, request um, the humans' help, notably Colonel O'Neill. Um, where they are able to help Thor out by destroying the ship that he came in, but um, we're starting to get, or we get the initial inkling of what the replicator threat is going to be in a couple of seasons, or I forget if it's even in season four, but um, we I, this season kind of serves as a stepping stone that we see that the Gould power is also very tentative as... Their power mostly rests in their slaves not understanding what kind of power they hold. But now that the Jafar are learning about their true worth and that they are the power beneath the gold system wars, and with the humans of Earth showing, slowly showing with each race they come across that the ghouls are not gods, that the ghouls are now reacting to that threat. Um, and then now that, and then we're gonna explore the universe on a more larger scale because we're gonna get more interactions with the Asgard with what they're trying to do, and that there's ideas that they can pro that the humans can provide to the Asgard. And then we're also seeing that um, as, as, while the Sargi command is not necessarily perfect, they are able to show that they represent the or they're trying to be a better version of humanity so while not everyone agrees with how they do things and not everyone is going to try to be pacifist and understand diplomacy on a galactic scale they are the current best form of that form of diplomacy so uh, we see that in the episode where the um the tolan and the asgard learn that um, humans have been stealing their technology. They originally blamed Stargate Command as that's they're the only interaction any other race has had. But as it turns out, there are rogue factions on Earth that have been stealing the technology. And so General Hammond is able to do that and the Colonel O'Neill goes undercover in order to expose that and rebuild the trust with the other cultures. So they're not saying that um, Stargate Command is perfect, but they're saying that they're doing the best we can, or the best they can, and that what, and that they're going to be open with other cultures because they are trying to build those relationships. And as Colonel O'Neill says, that they may need the technology, but they need the other cultures more because those other cultures have been working on an international or intergalactic scale for a lot longer time than humans have. So 
they need those other races who ha understand that those nuances and things like that. And we see more in this season as to why Thor trusts Colonel O'Neill quite a bit. In that Colonel O'Neill doesn't like to make things complex. He likes to keep things simple, but he also understands the nuances of things more than he lets on. And he wants to ensure that no one is treated. Basically, he's kind of that. He's the basically the main good guy of the show. That he wants to make sure that no one's treated unfairly, and he's there to protect and serve, not take because he wants things, but take because and share because that's what they're there to do. So that's all there is for this particular review. Um, so um, if you have any other feedback or anything like that, then definitely reach out. Uh, with that, I'll be starting on my watch through of season four. Um, I haven't had a chance to touch the current season of um, the Expanse yet, but that's also on the schedule. Uh, we have Wonder Woman 1984 coming out on Christmas Day. So look out for that review. Um, look up for an Android app review coming in the next uh, week or two. Um, I've, I'll have a post up for patrons, so you, um, as a patron you can provide your own comments and feedback and things like that. Um, and then of course Headphones Neil News is out, so look out for that. And I'll have a post probably um, first or second week of January, so um, that'll kind of be in a continuously updating list as um, notes go or I'll just create the post so you can start commenting and I'll add my notes once I have some more information for the end of month episode there. But that's all there is for this review so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback or anything like that you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in and until next time.